Hey guys, this is Salomon17 and I'm back from my German uh, project. I was at the art school and uh, had a really good time. But for those who actually like are subscribers to my channel or saw my like um, what was it, the community tab, I got something really special that I tried to get from J all the way from Japan, but I, but I was surprised I could find it in Germany. So for, for you guys who don't know, a few days ago I bought a, PS, a PSP, the original 1000 model, and I had a really good I have a really good time playing the console, but just recently I discovered something I wouldn't thought I would never discover it all in all my life. I'm gonna put this away <laughs> really quickly and I put it in my pocket basically like a case or whatever um my PSP I'm gonna put it inside the shelf so it doesn't take too, so much space on the table and what I got is something Another handheld console, and probably something that a lot of people try have been trying to get ever since the whole, you know, Pirate's Life is for me and stuff. The PS Vita. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I finally got a PS Vita. <laughs> now I have a PSP and a PS Vita, man. That is funny, man. This is a used console I found in Germany, and that is crazy, because the PS Vita is something I tried to get from Japan, but unfortunately the console never arrived, uh, because Japan is so far away, f far away from Latvia. But this is, an, this is an interesting one. This is actually the 2000 model, uh, the, the, the 2000 model of the, the PSP 2000 model, so you don't have to worry about buying, like, the super, like, there were 1,000 models as well, but the fact that it had also the 2,000 model of PS Vita is insane. This is kind of crazy because um, we went to the, like, uh, me and my partner, we went to, uh, walking around in like this little town uh, that is next to our school. And next to our school, there was a used gaming store. That, I didn't just buy a PS Vita, I also bought... Uh, uh, a PS3 game I tried to get for months. Which is uh, Gran Turismo 6. And even though the game updated for like forever, I... After updating updating the game, I had a I have a blast playing this game. I have so much fun and... Man, it is crazy. So... Yeah, but I got a PS Vita, and this is crazy, because I was not, like, I was, like, walking around in the gaming store, looking at the, a lot of used games, used consoles, whatnot, and then I turn around the corner, and then I suddenly see they are selling a PS Vita console, and I'm like, dude, what the hell, man? Like... I never imagined I would get a PS Vita because I've been trying to get this damn thing since since uh, I l heard a lot of good things about it on YouTube, uh, how, how this is like the ultimate handheld gaming system and yada yada. Now I'm currently waiting for my like uh, PS Vita memory, SD mem card adapter or whatever. That I just ordered because otherwise I cannot play more than one game. I did get a PS Vita game uh, to actually, you know, to test if the game, if the console plays games or not. And that is, uh, I also got a PS Vita game that is Dragon's Crown, probably one of the most controversial games in today's age. But I had a fun time playing uh, Dragon's Crown, and man, PS Vita is something else, like. Like, uh, this is basically uh, the Nintendo Switch before Nintendo Switch, but I feel like the PS Vita is more comfortable to walk around in and walk around with and use. Now, the, if you guys know, there's a, like a nasty spot on the screen, and thank God there was a screen protector, but uh, there was a price on the screen protector, and they, 
and we tried to I tried to remove it, but unfortunately, uh, the glue was kind of like very very badly put, and uh, then the glue is kind of stuck on the screen. So I will try to buy a new brand new screen protector to make the console look more, uh, you know, presentable. But for now, it's just crazy. Now, of course, I just recently like. Um, watch a YouTube tutorial about how to jailbreak the console without using the PC because the only way, because I because with the PSP I had to use my laptop to download some of the some of the PSP f uh, stuff to make it uh, gel to make it to make it jailbroken and I have a jailbroken PSP as well but I'm not gonna shove it off because I put it in the on the drawer but uh, this is jailbroken well 50% of it is jailbroken. Like I said, I'm currently waiting for my uh, micro SD for the PS Vita uh, to put it put the, put to put it in so you could play more games on it. And I do have a SD card. Um, I hope this works. I have a, like a. I hope you guys can see it. Focus, camera. The camera is not focusing, man. I do have a um, one 128 gigabyte SD card. I tried to get a micro SD card for the PSP, but unfortunately, this thing, this this thing was practically worthless, and it's because it's way, a few inches way too big. Oh man, that sucks. But um, yeah, uh, the PS Vita is a really cool console. Uh, you can. You can pretty much pl you can pretty much play anything on this on this thing like uh, PSP games, PS One games, PS Vita games, uh, Nintendo sixty four games, um, Nintendo Entertainment the, the Nintendo Entertainment System games, and many other basic games. Uh, this console is like the ultimate uh, handheld gaming system, and I heard about and. Man, the fact that I own this thing is incredible. Now, man, I don't know how to feel about this. Like, the fact that I own a PSP is incredible, but it was not cheap, man. Even for a used console, it wasn't cheap. It was like 135 euros uh, in Germany. Like I said, this is a used console. There was a brand new PS Vita as well in, inside the box, but I think that was the 1000 model instead of the 2000 model. Uh, I don't know because I don't read German, but the console is really crazy because I had fun playing uh, Dragon's Crown in the, on the console and this game, this console was just crazy. Like there is a touch screen as well. Um, I can show you. I can show it off. I'm turning the console. I'm turning the console on. As you guys can see, it is turning on. Yes, it is fully functional. Uh, so, and it's loading and here it is i open it up and viola fully functional ps ps vita oh my god that is crazy oh my god as you guys can see i did uh, uh, i did jail jail broken it uh, as you guys can see man my camera is not I have Vita Deploy and also Dragon's Crown, but I cannot play the game without without using the like the Dragon's Crown uh, game cartridge. But I wanted I wanted to show another thing in yeah, this is really awkward to do, but um, I'm gonna go yeah, you guys guys you guys can tell there's like Henkaku settings, which is the basically. Showcasing that you have a jailbroken P PS Vita, and oh my god, this is awkward to use. System, oh my god. Okay, I need to use this like this because otherwise I cannot. Uh, system, system information, and you can tell there's the like the Japanese import, the the, the whole thing. Like I said, I have free space for my. For my PS Vita, but it's not much. It's basically just a few megabytes. Like I said, I'm currently waiting for, for the. I'm gonna press the PlayStation button here. Oh God, yeah, but oh. 
So I'm going to do this. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so awkward to showcase, but here we go. I have a PS Vita now. Uh, this is used and uh, there are some... One of the things that actually was surprised me that, uh, about the PS Vita is the fact that you could actually get game trophies for PS Vita games without, uh, without uh, Wi-Fi. That is crazy because I did not use Wi-Fi when I was in Germany. I did play the PS Vita like I played Dragon's Crown. I did buy one game because I felt like uh, it will be kind of worthless to, uh, to own a console without playing a without playing a game. I tried to get a, I tried to get Minecraft for the Vita, but unfortunately there was no game. There was like a sticker, but no game, unfortunately. But they did but they did get Dragon's Crown. I tried to get. Find a game that is that doesn't take up uh, too much space, and and Dragon's Crown was one of those games. So yeah, I have a P like this is crazy. I have a PS Vita. It plays the jingle, and it's crazy because I've been trying to. I don't know how to feel about this. Like the PSP was a console I've been trying to get ever since I was little. I'm gonna turn this thing off so it doesn't make up waste batteries. But it's crazy that I have a PS Vita now. I, for those who don't know, I tried to get a... I, I always, when I was little, I always wanted a PSP because back in the day, PSP was like a, a very revolution, revolutionary console because you could play like ps 2 like games on a single disc and on a, on a handheld console. Now, of course, I do have... Of course, I'm trying to take out the... PSP. Now, the PSP, I still have it, but... Oh god, I forgot I thought it was like <laughs> chopping it off on upside down. But the, PS the PSP, I still love the console, honestly. Like, I still love the PSP, but the problem is, is the fact that it only has one analog stick. And it's kind of really janky to use, honestly. Like, uh... I do not have problems playing games on the PSP, but uh, I feel like with the PS Vita, I think I have a bit better, uh, a better way to play the game, some of the games on the PSP, because some PSP games, like, I remember when I talked to the store owner where I bought the PSP in Latvia, um, who sold, also sells used consoles and uh, games, especially retro ones, and... He told me he actually played a Monster Hunter game on the PSP, but he said he it was such a pain in the ass to do because of the lack of a second analog stick. Even though, despite the fact that there's literally space right here somewhere that where the second analog stick could have, could have easily be put in, but for some reason, but for some reason, Sony never did put a second analog stick there. But. Um, but anyways, he said he had a hard time playing Monster Hunter on this uh, on the PSP, but he continued playing the game because he had so much fun and he got used to the difficulty of using the PSP controller on playing Monster Hunter. Now, and uh, let's make another comparison with the with the PSP. And you guys, as you guys can tell, it has dual analog sticks. Hell yes. That is something uh, I feel like the PS Vita would have benefited from. But the problem with the PS Vita was the fact that Sony did not give a fuck about this console. Like, they really did not give a goddamn... They did not give a damn about the console. Ever since the PS4 released, it's like... The problem with the, especially with the new Sony CEO, it's like, I remember there was an article, I don't remember, that was a long time ago, but there was a video or something where the CEO, of, uh, the new CEO of Sony said that he hates older games, or mostly, old, he hates older games, and because of that mentality, um, we get like very less interesting games for newer generation of consoles be, and mostly about hey guys look how realistic the graphics are look how uh, cinematic and uh, emotional storytelling we have in this game look how 
gorgeous the visuals are. Who look how cinematically uh, slowly walking uh, a person, realistic person walks on the on the scene, and we we're gonna add some uh, like 15 minute combat and then more walking. And this is basically modern Sony games in a nutshell at this point, and I'm just tired of it honestly. But. Sony did not give a fuck about PS Vita, and because of the, uh, Sony's incompetence of this of this console, this console did not sell well compared to the PSP. Because uh, back in the day when PS3 and PSP were made, uh, Sony was still somewhat a Japanese company. But the problem was when Sony moved to America and became an American company, then when then. And then that's when uh, Sony really hit hit the nail in the coffin, uh, quite literally. I still have to play PS3 and PS2 games, and I still play even PSP games. But PS Vita is basically like a like a full package. Like you could play the original Ratchet and Clank trilogy on the go. You could play like the original Sonic Cooper trilogy on the go. You could play the original God of War games on the on the go. You can even play. You could even play... What was it? Um, you can even play the original GTA trilogy on this thing. Yes, people are actually modding and making, like, proper ways to play the old Rockstar games, especially the old GTA titles, on, on the system. And that is crazy. Like, imagine playing me going around and playing a freaking, like, I don't know, something like Grand Theft Auto uh, 3 on the on the PlayStation Vita. And of course, you can play the other GTA titles on the PSP, but there, there are no... They, they basically, like, GTA titles that were originally released on PSP, but then, few like, one year later or a few months later, um, they released a PS2 port for the game. Basically, Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories, um, you can play those games on the PSP. And um, I still play Liberty Cities on the PSP, but, uh, but once I get the homebrew console or the micro SD adapter for the PS, PS Vita, then I will put that 128 gigabyte uh, memory card or SD card in it and then play some games. Of course, 128 gigabytes is not much for a PS Vita, considering how, how strong the console is. And also another problem with the um, PS Vita's failure of being sold was the fact that uh, Sony, for whatever reason, were s selling like these uh, special PS Vita memory cards that costed a fortune, man. And because of that, uh, and the stupid decision selling those uh, memory cards and so so big of a prices. You know you they fucked up. You know they fucked up somewhere. Now of course I'm currently like I said I'm currently waiting for an SD card and then I will try to get a new a screen protector for PS Vita and also we'll try to get a PS Vita like a like a wallet or something like that where I could put put and uh, carry my PS Vita around uh, better. What's funny about the PS Vita that I bought the, the used PS Vita for? It feels like the PS Vita is in a worse condition than my PSP because the PSP that I bought was the 1000 model it, it still looks brand new. This one is if you look closely you can see that there are some there are some things that PS Vita has like like for example the the R1 R or L buttons so basically like you can see through them like there's kind of stickiness in them or whatever and on the back you can see some scratches and whatnot but overall uh, I'm really cr it's like man it is crazy that I got a PS Vita man like I've been, like I said, I've been trying to get this console from Japan, but unfortunately it never arrived. I tried to get the the, uh, the blue, the blue color one, but now I have the classic black one. <laughs> I've, like I said, there were also the original PS1, PS Vita's 1000 models. One point uh, the, the store owner even gave me a free cable, but it was busted and uh, broken basically. But... It was kind of weird because the store owner, for whatever reason, like, he doesn't understand games and 
it's kind of weird, like being in, in a game, being a store owner of a gaming store, not knowing anything about the consoles you're selling. Like, like I literally, like he gave me a free cable, but that was for the PS Vita one Vita one thousand model, despite the fact that I got the two thousand model that uses a micro micro USB ch charger instead. Uh, another accessory I got for a PS Vita is, um, oh my god, another accessory I got is this thing, it's like, you put it on the, uh, you put it on the, on the Vita, and then we all, you basically have a PS Vita uh, Nintendo Switch Edition basically, but it is more comfortable to, uh, to like, oh god. It is more comfortable to play games like this, honestly. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, but the problem is, that thing is also kind of huge. Like, it takes up a lot of space. So, I think it's best to... Uh, if I can... Like, if... Putting, in a, putting this damn thing in a pocket is kind of pain in the ass. Because um, I'm very afraid to break the Vita. Like, especially the Joy-Con, the analog sticks, basically. Or the buttons or whatever. So, yeah. But, uh, if we want to carry it around or... Maybe I can use this at home. But if I want to carry it around, then I will... I will carry it around in... And basically, in this mode, basically. Um, yeah. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but I tried to put everything back. So it doesn't collect too much dust. But yeah, PS Vita, man. Like, I never thought I would actually find a PS Vita console in Germany, and the fact that I actually own it is crazy. There was another PS Vita 2000 model on the store, but it had like broken Joy Cons. Like it didn't, it didn't even have Joy Cons at all. Like they got like like ripped out or something. Like the you know the these things. But uh, I found a proper PS Vita with uh, with less broken Joy Cons, and yeah. But the console still works great. Like I said, I j just jailbroken it. Uh, I, like I said, I saw a YouTube. I watched. The, I will continue watching a YouTube tutorial about the micro SD adapter for the PS Vita, so I could actually fully jailbroken the console, and uh, then later, then later on, I will try to get some games for the Vita. Honestly, like. Um, but yeah, the fact that I have a PS Vita is a crazy. And what do you guys think of the PS Vita? And let me know if I did, if I made the right choice or if I made the right purchase. Because uh, getting this thing from Japan, it cost me like 200 euros. Thankfully, they gave mo the money back that I didn't, since I didn't receive the console from from that place. But I bought this for a cheaper price for 100, 135 euros. Like I said, this is still. Uh, a used PS Vita. Nowadays you can just buy used PS Vitas, but uh, getting brand new ones is kind of like a chore, honestly, or almost ridiculously impossible to find. And they will probably cost a lot more than used ones. But yeah, uh, what do you guys think of the PS Vita? Did I make did I make the right purchase? And and hopefully I will have a good time with some of the games uh, that the PS Vita has, has to offer. Like I said, you know, also you can play PSP games, but I need to download like, like the PSP, like, I don't know, adapter or something, like whatever. I heard the uh, there's another good Grand Theft Auto game called Chinatown Wars, but I never played it. I might, I might try it on the PS Vita because I heard the Chinatown Wars uh, is much easier to play on the Vita than it is on the PSP, but... Uh, that's the re that is re that remains to be seen, but um, yeah, man, that is crazy that I got a PS Vita as well. Now I have a PSP and a PS Vita. Currently, I will be playing on the PSP, but uh, once I get a like I said, once I get a micro SD adapter for the Vita and put my 128 gigabyte uh, SD card on it and put it on the Vita, then I will like I said I will try to play more games on the system like Ratchet and Clank trilogy like. 
the fact that you can play the original Ratchet & Clank trilogy on the go is just fucking amazing, man. Like, uh, for those who don't know, I'm a huge fan of the original Ratchet & Clank games on the PS2, and the fact that you can play those games on the Vita is crazy. Now, of course, they're using... Unfortunately, they use the... Uh, the HD remaster version of the, those games. And like I said, the HD remaster of Ratchet & Clank Trilogy is not the worst, but it's not very good either. But uh, this it might be the closest thing you could uh, get uh, to play the original Ratchet & Clank games on the Vita, on the go, basically on the go. So yeah, I'm gonna put the Vita back inside the drawer and I will try, I will end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's crazy that I got a P I got a PS Vita, and uh, hopefully I will have more more fun playing this console in the future. So yeah, this is Salmon One Seven signing off.